Hey everybody, Tanya here, ready for our lunch date. And I am a little bit later than normal, but that's okay. I actually have a topic for you. I just made my yummy salad. Of course, I did not put the dressing on it because you guys know I don't like my salad soggy. Um, I only have this little bit of my water left, so definitely starting off 2017, good. But the topic I wanted to talk to you guys about, and don't forget to share this video, because this topic could definitely help at least one of your friends. Hey Valerie, and my topic today is you are who you are with. And this is something, hey Liz, that I have learned in my 40 years of life. Just thinking back, like think back of when you acted certain ways and the people you were hanging out with at the time that you were acting in those ways, right? So, you know, there was a time when I was younger where I acted very selfish, all about me. It was always like, what about me? What about me? What about me? Um, you know, and when I stopped being that way and I started looking at the people that I was hanging out with, that's why I was like that, because of the people I was hanging out with. They were very self-centered, narcissistic. So it rubs off on you. Um, so the saying is very true, you are who you hang out with. Their vibe and their energy starts to really rub off on you. Hey Mark, Rocky, Kimberly, how is everybody? I hope you guys have had a great new year. Um, this is our first Monday of the year, so I hope you're having a great first Monday of the year also. Um, so the saying is totally true of, you know, you are who you hang out with. Um, people's energy, people's attitudes, people's emotions, they're just as contagious as a yawn. That's what I have found. Um, Mark, I don't hang out with many people. Um, so that's what I have found is, you know, when one person yawns, everybody around them yawns. After a while, if there's a negative person in a group, just about everybody in that group becomes that negative person. They start to see things that they constantly hear. So if they're constantly hearing the negative in every situation, and they're constantly hearing what's wrong with this, what's wrong with that, what's wrong with this, they're always gonna be looking for those negatives and for the things that are wrong, right? And vice versa. Um, if you're constantly hanging out with positive, uplifting people, um, you're gonna see the positives all the time. And you're gonna you're gonna constantly be focusing on those things, um, but it doesn't just go with who you spend one on one FaceTime with. It's also the people that are on your social media, um, people that you might just kind of like text with or have phone conversations with, but maybe people that don't live close to where you know you don't see them all the time. But you're still conversing; they're still in your life. So if you think about your newsfeed. Do you see more positive in your newsfeed or do you see more negative? I wanna see the answers to that question. And while I'm giving you time to answer, I'm gonna look at what people are already commenting. <laughs> Liz and Mark are both full-time student and a job, so they're always at work. Um, and so nobody really wants to hang out. I actually see lots of positives now. That's great, Mark, and that's what you wanna to get to. Um, so yeah, right? Adulting is tough. <laughs> um, sometimes I just don't want to adult for that day. Um, but you know, take a look at your newsfeed today. Take a look at your social medias, your Facebook and your Instagram, or even your Snapchat. I've stopped following some people because they're always posting negative stuff on Snapchat. I don't want the negative. I like positive in my life. Like that's what I strive for. And making that change is scary. Making that change is tough. But if you want 2017 to be your kick-ass year, hey Janelle, then you need to make some of those changes. It's just, you have to. Because if you don't take that first step, no changes are gonna come about. Nothing's gonna happen. So you wanna make sure, hey Christy, yay, Kimberly says she sees lots of positive on her social media. So, and again, you guys, don't forget to share this video because I would love to see what your friends, and maybe this will open up their eyes to look and see who they're spending their time with. Um, but it's very, very important to every once in a while take a look around at who you're surrounding yourself with. I did that on New Year's Eve um, here at my house. I kind of just like glanced around. We had a great time. And I was glancing around and just looking at the people that were here and I was like, you know what? 
everyone here is a positive, great, like there was such a great vibe here because of the people that were here. You know, everybody was uplifting and positive and having a good time and just being themselves and not worrying about what other people that were here thought. You know, they all didn't know each other. I kind of brought everybody together. Some people already knew each other, some didn't, but it was just great to see all the positivity, all the love, and all the happiness. So it was a really great way to end 2016 and start 2017. So I always reflect and I always look at who I'm surrounding myself with. And I'm sorry for the ones that might be negative, but those are the people I don't keep around um, unless they're just going through a hard time and they just need a little bit of my positivity to help them through it. Um, oh, thank you, John. <laughs> um, but just keep in mind and keep, keep looking of uh, thank you Kimberly for the share. Keep looking of you know who you're surrounding yourself with. Hey Cherry, um, because you want to make sure that you are picking your tribe is what I like to call it. Um, that's one thing I love about uh, being a beach body coach is that's the one job that I can choose who I work with, who I'm helping, and who joins the team. Like I get to pick people I work with. Not many people can do that in their job. Sometimes you get a job because you've got to pay the bills and it doesn't matter who's sitting in cubicle two next to you. That's what you're stuck with. Um, and you want to do that in your life. You want to pick the people that you want in your life. You don't have to be stuck with anyone in your life. You don't have to keep someone in your life that you don't want. You want the positive, uplifting, happy, outgoing, fun people. Say hi. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> um, so last week, winter break, and then these kids go back to school. Cherry's cursing. Are you excited? That's okay. I'm going to cry. <laughs> hi, Susan. Ryan's always my live buddy. He likes to go live with me. You guys playing a game? Yeah, we're going to play Minecraft. All right, I'll make lunch in a few minutes. Hi, Kimberly. I made my lunch, but I didn't make yours yet. I'm going to eat. Oh, that's right. You did eat. Okay, so I don't have to make you anything. Self-sufficient children. Um, yeah, I'm just reading cherries. Yeah, that's what I do. Surround myself with all the sexy people. It doesn't matter, Cherry. Are you kidding? He was just joking. Cherry said sorry, Ryan. <laughs> oh, um, but so that's what I wanted to talk about. It's just making sure that you are choosing the people you really want to surround yourself with. And if you're hanging out, like, actually, me and Cherry were talking about this in the garage, either before or after one of our workouts. Like, when we walk up to a group of people and they're talking crap about somebody else, we're both like, see you later. We don't want to be part of that because it's a negative type of conversation. You know what I mean? It's just not one of those good feeling conversations. You don't walk away from that feeling fantastic and uplifted. You walk away just feeling negative and gross. So make the choices this year. Choose the right group of people to hang out with. And if you can't find the right group of people, that's fine. Kick everybody to the curb because once you get rid of all the negative, everything else falls into place. I know it's scary sometimes. It's Sometimes it's really scary to get rid of all the negative because sometimes it's all the people. And then you're like, oh crap, I'm gonna have no friends left. The negative ones aren't the right ones. You wanna have the right people in your, rights, in your life. Surround yourself properly. And let's make 2017 a kick-ass year. We wanna make sure that we're surrounded by all the right people. What is life973.com? What is that, John? I've never even heard of that. But so I'm going to go eat my salad, but I just wanted to chat with you guys really quick about you are who you're surrounded by. So make sure you're surrounded by the right people so you can do the things and you can feel and know what you deserve. You can believe in yourself. You can believe in what you're doing and you can take all the right steps, all the right steps. You need to love every moment of every day that you have in your life because it's all that you have. Tomorrow is not promised. It's only what we have right this moment. So why would you want to be negative? Why would you want to be questioning who you're with or not really liking the person that you're talking to but you're talking to them because you have no one else to talk to? Like, don't do that. Every minute needs to count. Um, yes, I agree, John. Hey, boo. My baby just got on. Hi, honey. Um... So you want to make sure that you get rid of all of those negative people. And if you have somebody in your family that's negative, you don't necessarily have to like kick them to the curb, but I would maybe try to change their mindset. Like if they start to talk negative about a situation, listen to them and then show them the positive side of that situation because there is a positive and negative in all situations. And usually when it's a negative situation, 
there is usually a good positive outcome and you can't see that outcome at the very beginning because you're so focused on on like whatever stress is going on or whatever tragedy might be going on you know so there usually is something positive like when i was going through my divorce of course i'm only focusing on the divorce and the fact that i don't see my kids 24 7 anymore but the positive that came out of it is look at the marriage that i'm in now look at the life that i'm living now but i didn't know that so it was really hard for me to not just focus on the bad you know what I mean? It, it's a really hard thing to do, but I promise you, there's always a positive outcome in all situations, even the tragic ones. Um, it's a Christian radio station, plays uplifting music. Oh, I'm totally gonna have to try that. I didn't know 97.3 was, um, it used to be a different station, I think. So um, thank you for that, I'm gonna try it. Um, but just so, just be, just be mindset, just, know who's around you and if something just feels off you don't have to keep those people in your life like i said we have this one life and we only have today and we only have the moment that we're in nobody knows what's going to happen five minutes from now and nobody's promised tomorrow so let's just make the best of all the moments that we have and let's keep everything positive and keep everything uplifted and i promise you i promise you things will get better i'm actually reading a book right now called happy on purpose um, I downloaded it on my Kindle. It's on Audible too, so if you're better with audiobooks. But it is a great book on things like that, like mindset and how to make your life a happy life on purpose. Um, it's a really great book. I'm actually gonna go read some of it while I have my lunch. Um, I try to read a couple chapters before bed. I find that before bed is a really great time to do personal development, read, listen to it, or anything like that. Um, because it, it stays in your mind. I don't know if you guys know that, but the last thing you do before you go to bed, it sticks in your mind. That's why sometimes you have crazy dreams if you were watching like a crazy movie or something like that. Um, so I like to try to read. It's a really great book. So for anybody that might be having a hard time with living a happy life, Happy on Purpose is a really great book for you guys to read. So I'm gonna go enjoy this yummy salad. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll check back with you later. Bye guys.